In this video, we are going to focus on grammar range and accuracy when it comes to IELTS writing task 1. To begin with, you must note that grammar range and accuracy is worth 25% of overall band score. And also, it is not just writing without grammar mistakes, but you must try to write in a wide range as well. This part of lecture focuses on grammar range. So what is grammar range? Grammar range means using simple, compound and complex sentences in your essay. I will explain that all in it later, but before that you must know about clauses. So there are two types of clauses in English, dependent and independent. Independent clause is the sentence which has one subject, one verb, and the idea is complete. For example, number of visitors rose in 2020. This sentence has one subject and one verb. It is also a complete idea. The second type of clause is dependent clause. It also has one subject, one verb, but its meaning depends on main clause. For example, number of visitors rose last year because demand was high. In this example, demand was high is dependent clause because the idea is complete. Without the main clause, it does not make sense. Now, let's return to explanation about different sentence type. Simple sentence. Simple sentences have only one independent clause, such as number of visitors rose in 2020. Even you modify words, for instance, number of visitors rose significantly in the period of 2020. All added words, like significantly, in the period of, instead of in, is not going to change the nature of clause. There is still one subject and verb. Although, it's a good idea to modify words so that you can have a better marks. Compound sentence. It is two or more independent clauses joined together using conjunctions like because, but, although, though, and others. For example, number of visitors rose and fell. Here, there are two independent clauses. These sentences have separate ideas and they are just combined with and. Or take another example. Number of visitors rose and fell in 2020, but rose sharply in 2021. So in this example, there are three independent clauses. Number of visitors rose in 2020. It fell in 2020. It rose sharply in 2021. They are just connected using conjunctions, such as and and but. Complex sentences. So complex sentence has one independent clause and one or more dependent clause. For instance, number of visitors rose in 2020 because demand was high. In this example, number of visitors rose in 2020 is independent clause. Because is conjunction and demand was high is dependent clause. So to sum up our lecture, to achieve good results in grammar range and accuracy section, you must avoid grammar mistakes, obviously, and try to use combination of simple, compound and complex sentences.